Hi and welcome back. We are still busy with exponents. Now we are going to do solve for x in exponents. Before you start with the section, you need to be comfortable with general solve for x. We had done a previous video under algebraic expressions where we had discussed solve for x in detail. It is important that you know how to solve for x before you continue with the section. When we are solving for x, you would notice that the x in an exponent can lie in two places. It can either be the power or it can be the base. Therefore, in this specific video, we are going to discuss solve for x where the x is the base. When we do a question, Regarding solve for x, it doesn't matter whether it's a power, whether it's a base. The important thing is that you always have to get the unknown alone before you can continue. If we do the following example, 2 x to the power of 3 over 4 is equal to 54. Now, the first step which you had learned in solve for x is to get the unknown alone. In this case, we are going to divide by 2. And what we do on one side, you have to do to the other side. So we have x to the power 3 over 4 is equal to 27. Now, exponents is based on prime numbers. Once you have gotten the unknown alone, then only do you go and you break down to prime numbers wherever you can. Sometimes you'll see you can break down prime numbers on your left hand side. Sometimes you can break down on your right hand side. Sometimes you can only break down on one side. But wherever you can break down into prime numbers, you immediately do that. In this case, 27 can break down to 3 to the power of 3. So we have x, 3 over 4, is equal to 3 to the power of 3. Once you have the prime numbers, and you are left with one term to one term. Notice I have one term on my left and I have one term on my right. Now you multiply with the opposite power that is with the x or the unknown. So we're going to multiply with the opposite power but we're specifically looking at the unknown, not the 3 in this case. In this case, we are going to look at the x. Now, what is the opposite power? We've got 3 over 4. The opposite would be 4 over 3, the inverted multiplication. And what you do on one side, laws of solving facts, you have to do to the other side. Immediately, you would see that there's a lot of cancellation. So on the left-hand side, my x is now alone, equal to 3 to the power of 4. Now, it is important to remember that at this step, we broke down to prime numbers. Many times, children would leave the 27 and they would multiply it by 4 over 3. Now, this doesn't give you the incorrect answer. You would still end up with the correct answer, which is 81. The problem with this is that many a times your exam paper will say, you may not use a calculator. Now, if you may not use a calculator and you jump from this to this, then the examiner knows that you had used a calculator. There will be a mark allocation to this specific breakdown. Because this breakdown tells me, number one, you are not using a calculator. And number two, you know how to cancel. You will see whenever you are doing the sums, somehow when you break down, the powers are always linked to the powers of the unknown. Now you may use a calculator. X is equal to 81. The final answers they can't really pick up if you use or you don't use a calculator. And they don't expect you to show how you've got 81. But at this level, 
you have to know how to break down. So there's no jumping steps, especially if the emphasis is you may not use a calculator in the section. Thank you for watching this video.